Okay, doing these lines now, um, what you do is take your set square, okay, and that's at 30 degrees there. I know that it's a, a tangent to the top curve at 30 degrees, so I'm just going to extend this curve a wee bit round, a wee bit further round. This is at 30. Slightly bigger than that, slightly smaller than that, sorry. Just extend it a wee bit there. And then a wee bit here, just a wee bit here, okay. And then I'm just going to bring the line up at 30 degrees until it's a tangent, okay. And then it's a line, the line goes down there, same the other way around. It's a bit tricky actually, um, just because of the, the angle, it's basically that way there on the set square. So I might just turn it around the other way just to. Here, so the tangent will be so the tangent's the other point there, basically. Okay, so that's the position of those lines, and then finally we need to work out the position of the centre of these we fillets here. Now we know it lies on this line somewhere, and it needs to be 25 away from this line. So what you do is. You set your compass to 25, and this is so that we can draw another line which is 25 millimetres away from this one. Okay, and to do that, set it to 25, set your compass in at a point in the line, draw a wee arc, move it along a bit, draw another wee arc, move it along a bit, draw another arc. Okay, and then 30 degrees, get a tangent to each of these, and where that line cuts there is the point. Okay, that is the centre there. Because that's 25 away from that line, that's um, 35 plus, that's 60 away from there, and that gives us the point. So that means that on that line there is 25 away from. From that circle. So I now just take my compass, stick it in there, and then a tangent to there, tangent to there, and it's a wee bit out as you can see. Okay, and that does happen. It's a bit of a pain, but yeah, that's just what happens sometimes when you're doing these. That's why you've got to be really careful. Get it as close on as you can. So let me just try and get it a bit better on the other side. I'll just try and get the same point actually. So project across from that centre and I know that it lies on that line. So that's the point there. Compass in. That's better on this side actually. So just dark it, make it dark where it needs to be. And that's what's got a point there. Okay, not a wee bit out as I say, but Okay, right, the top part here, let's extend this centre line out, this is us doing, so it's long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, so we've got a, an ellipse to do, major axis 100, minor axis 50, so simply put, you get your compass, Set it to half a hundred, which is 50. Draw a circle. Lightly. Okay. Draw another circle. Half of the minor axis. It's, the minor axis is 50 di in diameter, so you set your compass to 25 in radius. Okay, so it's going to be as wide as that and as or as long as that and as wide as that, okay? So that's you get your two uh, different ones in. Use your 3066 square, divide it up using the kind of usual generator method. So your, your 12 points on the clock face. Ok, 
Okay. Um, and then I'm just I need to extend these right the way out. Sorry. So put them right the way out. Okay, your first point and your last point are there and there. Okay, to get your other points, what you do is where it cuts the main axis, you do a line out. And where it cuts the major axis, you do a line down. So we've got a point there. So, minor axis, we go out the way, horizontal, major axis, we go vertical. Okay. Minor axis, horizontal, major axis, Vertical. Sorry. Yeah, vertical until they meet. And then we're going to meet there and there. And then we've got a point there, there, there. Horizontal, vertical, where they meet. Then a dot, and we're going round to there. And it's the same on the other side, so we go horizontal. Vertical dot horizontal vertical dot and then it goes right back around to there. So just a smooth curve through these should finish it off. I need to do this one as well. Horizontal vertical dot. Horizontal, vertical, and a dot. Okay, so there's our points all the way down. So smooth curve. Now you may want to take it out of the drawing board to do this. Because it can be quite tricky to draw it. And it's in the drawing board, but for speed, I'm going to just do it. Well, it's on the board so you can also see it. Just try and keep it as curvaceous as you can. There we have it. Okay. And you should be able to see a difference between the construction lines and the final lines. It's not really much, very much like a tidying up exercise. So you'd want to be going in here and darkening up. A lot of marks can be lost in these drawings by from not actually darkening in your final lines. You must make sure that you darken in your final lines. And a, a big compass is necessary for some of this as well. Just to get it right. Make sure you take your time and just darken everything in and just make sure it's clear what's to be a line and what's to be a construction line. If you do that, then you're not going to need to worry about marks, but if you don't, then you might well have to worry about marks being lost, so just be careful. Okay, a bit of time taken. Makes all the difference. The way you lose marks is when you've got really obvious tails, and the way you've got overlaps, and 
you think is sort of um, you know, there's no way to be there basically. Yeah, I've got a bit, I've got a wee bit of a problem with this bit here not really lining up properly. So I would maybe if I was doing this in the exam, I would maybe remeasure that and just make sure it was that it was spot on. Okay, but Otherwise, that's what you need to do. Okay.